Welcome to SF Jobs Lab. We bring you all possible solution of interview question, including most efficient one. And in today's question, we will be reversing every K nodes of given linked list. So let's assume if this is our given linked list where A is our head node. So let's name it as in head. And if K is 2, so our output should be B will point to A then a will point to d d will point to c c will point to f f will point to e and e will point to null so here you can see that every two nodes is getting reverse right a and b is getting reverse c and d is getting reverse and similarly e and f is also getting reversed here similarly if k is 3 then our output would be c b a and then a will point to f f will point to e and e will point to d correct so here also we are reversing every three nodes right and if k equal to 4 then output would be d c b a and then a will point to f and f will point to e and here point to be noticed is that in last segment we have only two elements right e and f and as we have only two elements, so we have to reverse only these two elements in the last segment. And if k equal to 6, which is the length of the list, uh, so in that case, we have to reverse the entire list, right? And now at this time, we have to think about the boundary case. So what would be the boundary case? The case where if k is negative or uh, equal to 0, or maybe k is greater than the length of the list itself. So to better clarify this, uh, it is always good to ask this question to the interviewer and see their expectations, what actually they want. And normally we have seen if K is greater than length of list. So in that case, they wanted to reverse the entire linked list as same as the previous case, this one. And if K is uh, less than or equal to zero, and this is the base case where we don't have to deal with anything means whatever the input we are receiving in our method the same input we have to return back okay so in this case this will be the same as original input list which is this one so this was our input list okay guys so i hope that you understood the question very well and now the time to think about the solution and now let's look into the solution so from question it is pretty much clear that we have to reverse some chunks of linked list so let's understand first how to reverse any linked list. So let's take our input sequence as given the question. So let's say if we have a one pointer and let's name this pointer as in current pointer. And as we know that the head of current linked list will point to the null. That means we will point A next to null. After which you will realize that you got disconnected from remaining linked list. So I can see that solving the problem with a single pointer is not going to work out so now let's take another pointer uh, that pointer should be storing uh, the address of first element of the remaining linked list right after doing this operation so let's restart approaching the problem with two pointer now and now let's call this pointer front and now before assigning a next to null we will be assigning this front pointer to b right and now your front is pointing to b after that assign a next to null you can reach to b using front pointer and now you are here at b at this point of time you will realize that there is no way to get connected with the previous node which means we cannot reverse the linked list using two pointer we need another pointer which will be pointing the previous node okay so let's call this pointer as a back pointer which will be initially assigning to null so our first step would be shifting front pointer to the next element and then in second step we will be pointing next of current element to back pointer and now back is pointing to null that means now we are pointing a next to null correct and in third step before we jump our current pointer to next element we will assign our back pointer to current element and then we will jump our current pointer to next element so let's verify these three steps one more time to check whether it is actually reversing our list or not okay so in step one we again we will increment our front pointer to next element which is c 
and in second step the next of current element will be assigning to back pointer and in third step first we have to take our back pointer to current position and after that our current will jump to the next element which is c so guys we'll keep on doing these three steps till current will reach to null okay so at the end our pointer's position will be looking like this where front and current pointer will be pointing to null and back pointer will be pointing to the last element of the linked list with the help of back pointer we'll bring our head point pointing to f which is a head node and from here we'll return our head pointer and now here we have successfully reversed our link list and the method which we have used this method is called iterative method and now let's see if you convert this logic or uh, this is steps one two three into uh, coding then how is gonna look like so this is a declaration of uh, our node where we have one integer data and uh, one next pointer and this next pointer will be pointing to the next element uh, in the linked list sequence and this code basically uh, will execute all this step one two and three so as you can see here the current next is assigning to front so this is our first step and then we are assigning back as in current next element so this is our second step and then we are bringing back to the current position and then current we are moving to front right so this combination of this two line basically is our step number three and in while loop we have to put this condition where current is not equal to null so as soon as uh, current will reach to null then we will come out from this uh, while loop and at the end definitely we will assign our back pointer as in head and we will return this head from our method okay and let's see uh, what if uh, you know we have only single element in the linked list so if input linked list is this then what will be the reverse of this it will be the same right that means if we have this kind of situation so basically we don't have to execute our algorithm so now let's see whether our piece of code is handling this scenario or not so the current which will be pointing to a so definitely it will execute our while loop once which doesn't make any sense so what we have to do last thing is we have to optimize this code little bit means our while loop we have to write under some condition and what that condition will be the condition will be first we have to check whether current is null or not if it is null that means we have empty uh, linked list and we have to check if current next is equal to null or not if it is equal to null that indicate that we have only one element in the linked list coming back to problem so we will solve this problem uh, in two different method uh, first method is iterative method so let's see that first so in step one we will reverse the list till k element and for reversal we are using iterative method and then we will assign our head uh, pointer to a uh, back pointer and this assignment is uh, going to be happen only one time okay so after executing step one in our input link list where k is equal to 2 our list structure uh, will look like uh, this where head and back is pointing to b and front and current pointer is pointing to c right now let's execute step two so it will check if current is null then return uh, and in that case our problem will be solved but here current is not equal to null so we have to go to the else part and the first step in else is repeating step one so we have executed our step one on uh, second sublist and then we have to assign next pointer of last node of previous sublist previous sublist is this b pointing to a and the last node of previous sublist is nothing but a so a next will point to back and back is currently pointing to d here right and at that stage we have a two sublist so one sublist uh, we have reversed till c you know starting from b where b is uh, where head is pointing to b now we'll come to the third step which is saying repeat step number two so again we'll check current is not equal to null that's mean again we execute step number one first and then we need to see the last note of the previous sublist so previous sublist is this and last node of this sublist is c so c next will point to f so c will point to f and now we can see our expected output and now let's see the code we'll take a quick uh, overview of this code 
but if you wanted to understand the code line by line then for that we have a separate video and the video link you can find at the end of uh, this video or you can find in a uh, description below okay so if you see uh, this while loop so here we are reversing the list and this line uh, we are assigning head to back pointer only once uh, remember our step number one so that thing we are handling uh, here and in else part we are doing uh, that next of last element of previous sub list will be pointing to back right so that thing we are doing over here and after that when two sub list will get merged we have to keep a reference to a last element of the sub list right and that's how we are achieving it through this line so here end will refer the end element uh, of any sub list and start will be referring to a start node of any sub list okay and i guess this is pretty much clear why we are uh, you know keeping all this uh, piece of code starting from here till here inside this while loop just because um, we have to go till end of the given linked list right and now let's see how to solve this problem uh, using recursive method so here also in step one uh, what the first thing first we need to do we need to reverse the linked list till k nodes and after this operation every time we are returning head node of uh, that sub list that reverse sub list and let's demonstrate uh, this with our input list so after step one the structure of the list uh, will look like this and now we execute our second step where it will check if uh, current is null so definitely that means we have reached till last node of uh, link list and will stop our execution over there but here uh, current is not pointing to null that means now we will execute our uh, else part where the next pointer of uh, last node of previous sub list which is a here so a will point to the element which is returning from step one right so here we are doing a recursive call so let's do that so here we have reversed a uh, cd and head is pointing to d that means now a next will point to head right because we are returning head element d from this recursive call and again we will repeat the same process uh, again it will check if current is not equal to null or not it is not equal to null that means again it will execute else part and this time our head will be here which will be the next element of c so next of c will point to f after which we have a list which is our expected output so here head will point to b and now let's see the code and guys uh, we have a separate video for this as well and the link you can find uh, at the end of this video so in while loop here uh, again we are reversing the list iteratively where uh, after this operation uh, the back pointer will be pointing the first node of the reverse list which is nothing but our head pointer and here in this if condition we are handling our base case and uh, recursively we are calling here at this particular line where start next uh, will point to the element which is returning from this call okay so guys we are done with the solution part and i hope that you like this tutorial as well please share this video with your friends who is uh, looking for job change and if you are new user then please subscribe our channel uh, and hit the bell icon thanks again for watching us and stay tuned for more videos